barely a hundred years ago. It is. It is quite incredible. A hundred right? years ago. It is quite incredible. We to didn't think really about. know how my dad. I look like my dad. Yeah. Yeah. This is 1944. Fisher. So this is in Liverpool University. Liverpool. Yeah. Hey, shout out to all the Scousers out there. You never walk alone. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick Griffith. Okay. And he does a few experiments with bacteria and mice. Mm -hmm. This is a very fundamental experiment. It's yeah, very yeah, simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very simple. But it shows you that there's something physically there that is transforming the bacteria from a non-virulent form right. to a virulent form. Right. And it's now has the ability to kill mice. Right. And this is in 1928. Right? So this is during like in in the middle of the two wars right, right. in Liverpool right. that that he's figured this out. Liverpool, <laughs> right? Now that we now we've pointed out like there's a mystery that is clearly identifiable and replicatable. Yeah. What is it? What is it? And now we get to the resolution of that with an experiment by Avery McLeod and McCarty in 1944. Okay? What they do is they systematically purify whatever the thing is that is doing this transformation. And here's what they do. They say, okay, there's, there's possibilities, right? It could be protein, mm -hmm. it could be RNA, mm -hmm. or it could be DNA. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that soup of heated up bad bacteria, right. and I'm going to treat it with something called trypsin, which basically cuts a bunch of protein. And Point is, trypsin killed the proteins. Proteins no longer being problematic, we put into the new mice, the new mice still die. The new mice still die. So it's right? not protein. So it's not proteins. It's not protein. Okay? Then we do something called RNAs, which we know is something that kills RNA. It cuts RNA out. Yeah, okay. Same thing. Nothing. Then we do something called DNAs, which yes. is something that cuts up DNA. We know that. Hmm? That's when the mice live. And you cut up the DNA that are give the instructions to the bacteria to actually tell the bacteria how to infect the mice. That's when it. That's when. That's that's when we killed that ability. Now we found the building block. Yes. Now we found the building block for the gene. The idea of inheritance is something that is coming from DNA. I actually want to take a quick step back and talk about this because at this time we did not understand how traits were passed no generationally we like, knew that they were from we, mendel obviously and from all these i mean obviously like i look like my parents you look like your parents so obviously there's something and then experimentally we also proved it in a controlled context mm -hmm. to, to know that there there is this inheritance the concept of inheritance exists yes but we, what it is what is like what actually makes up the fabric of that yeah it, it's actually a really important point to know like we actually didn't know that 